seems to be taking a moment to load up. But anyway, hello, my name's Adam Curidan. I'm going to be giving a talk on the use of sounds in Wikipedia and how it, um, huh. Okay, I've never seen this before, but never mind. <laughs> anyway, I'm going to talk on the use of sounds in Wikipedia. Now, the thing about Wikipedia is that we don't actually do a very good job at including sounds, um, in, even in cases where it would make things so much easier to understand. For example, this is an article. This is an article on a music or on a musical composition. It tells you what it comes from. It tells you it uses tone clusters. It tells you a bit about the background of the work. But, but if you don't know what it sounds like, you don't understand half the thing. For the record, I, have an, I happen to have an approximation prepared. This is a MIDI version, but it gives a fairly good approximation, from what I can tell. And that is what tone clusters sound like, which is the main point of the, the article we were looking at before. They are basically shoving down with a bit of wood onto the keyboard to push down like every note between two notes. You would never get this idea from just reading an article alone. So, what can we do about sounds on Wikipedia? Well, there, are there have been several attempts. One of them was portal featured sounds. Featured Sounds was a project that ran for several years. It created, it found quite a lot of free use things from various sources, nominated them, organized them by year, and did a fairly good job at organizing them. Unfortunately, if you try to add a new sound now, well, let's put it this way, it doesn't work out very well for you. The project has been shut down completely. And we don't, ha and as you can see, the page is currently inactive. So, Wikipedia is not supporting the use of sounds. And I think this is a problem. If you have an article on a piece of music, and the, and the music is free licensed, then we ought to make at least some attempt to get, let people know what, or what, what we're even talking about. If you can't hear music, you don't understand music. So let's talk about what we can do, uh, do to fix this. Well, there are several sources of sounds. Um, looking at the featured sounds we have, um, I, we, have we gathered them from various sources. One, one use was the same one we used for many feature pictures, the US government. All federal works by the US government are freely licensed, and quite a bit of Quite a lot of military branches have choirs and um, brass bands and so on. So you've got a, quite a few different things. For instance, um, they performed um, various Christmas carols, such as this one. Uh, another problem we have with sounds is that the templates aren't very good. <laughs> yes. So, yes, of course, the problem with that. Shut up. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Another problem. <laughs> yes. We also don't support them very well with our coding, but um, that, I believe, is a problem that we will discuss someone who actually understands the coding of Wikipedia, because God knows I don't. <laughs> um, you could also find, there also used to be a source for really old recordings. Um, dare I? Okay, just a little bit. For instance, this is a recording of en Henry Caruso, um, Enrico Caruso playing Ombre Mafu, which is a song by Handel. Unfortunately, that site actually that site actually shut down a few years ago and decided to license all its works in a, under the um, non-commercial license, so we can't use it anymore unless we grab things. And since sounds weren't that bad, much supported on Wikipedia, we don't we lost that site. In fact, quite a lot of sounds of Wikipedia have lost information. They're poorly documented. We don't know all the details and so on. Um, there have been several attempts to fix this. Um, 
For a while, when featured sounds was active, we attempted to get onto the main page of Wikipedia, and if we had done that, the exposure would have encouraged people to participate in it. But unfortunately, if you don't publicly support, support a uh, type of work on Wikipedia, you know, article creation, picture creation, and portal creation, list creation, all of these are very strongly supported on Wikipedia. Sounds, we don't even have a featured sounds process. You will get literally no recognition for them. Sounds are not required to have, sounds are not required if you have an article in classical music to get it to featured article status. This is a problem. There is literally, the Wikipedia as an institution does not seem to value sounds in the least. Early, just yesterday, I believe it was yesterday, um, I didn't actually go to this lecture, I was just told about it. They did a talk about multimedia development and talked only about images and briefly about video and didn't even mention sounds as something they were working on in a talk about multimedia. So Wikipedia needs to support sounds more. We, can, we have seen what can be done if, if someone supports a project. Featured pictures, this is a featured picture from uh, 2005, maybe 2004. Um, it's not bad, but it's kind of small. It's low resolution. This is um, about <coughs> 700 by 900. This is, a, this is from today, um, a picture of a frog. And if we just zoom in on that, it is quite a big image, I think you can tell. Whereas this one is the full size and does not even fill the screen. So if you support something, you attract better contributors, and you, we can end up going from, we, from good but low quality to, to amazing. Thank you very much. Now then, any questions? It's actually somewhat hard to add a sound to an article, unfortunately. For one thing, Wikipedia does not support the co most common form, MP3. You have to convert all MP3 files into AUG, a file format which I have pretty much never seen used outside of Wikipedia. Which also, as you can imagine, really limits reuse of the files. Um, you all, and then to use it, there's no native support. It's not like when you're adding an image, you just go uh, file image name.jpg, thumb, caption, you're done. If you want to add a, um, let's see, this should work. I seem to have lost a ton of resolution when I, when I attach this thing. Mm -hmm. If you want to add an image to a file, it looks like this. I mean, a sound to a file. It, it's a nasty little template, and it might not even be on all Wikipedias. And this is literally how it is supported. Um, you can see this. This is the multi-listen item template. You have to first know this template exists. There are three different variations of it. You have to fill in the file name, the title, a description, note the format, and if you don't have this template, you ha it's much more complex. This, temp this template basically puts it in a box and that kind of thing. Just to give you an idea of how complex it is to use these, particularly if you don't have this set up on your Wikipedia already. Sorry, this is a slightly technical answer. But, um, this is what the template looks like. This is not what you would think of viewing normally, is it? <laughs> anyway, um, did that answer your question? No. All right. Hello, one more. And uh, could you please say uh, what is the main purpose of the sounds in Wikipedia? Well, it can illustrate for things like, for a lot of music, it's going to be public domain. 
um, pretty much anything written before about maybe 1900 is going to be free licensed and because it, 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 the copyright expired, the composer died more than 100 years ago and so on. I mean, the performance of it can be copyrighted, but if we could encourage it, we could use it. The main purpose of Sounds on Wikipedia <coughs> is to let people experience something being explained in text. If you say that a frog makes a sound, to use a somewhat famous example, breche like a coax, 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 that all sounds very good, but it doesn't really let you get an idea of what the frog sounds like. But if you play a sound of the frog croaking, you know. I think it will allow them to understand. I mean, there are some some things, some articles primarily on things that are auditory. I mean, if you're talking about singing stairs, the stairs that the stairs that creak in musical ways to let people know that people are walking towards them, or you're talking about um, again frog calls, bird calls, any muse articles on music. You can't really explain sounds and words alone. Mm -hmm. You experience them through perf through performance. Um, just to add to that, it's also very useful for explaining a language, how someone would pronounce something in a particular mm -hmm. language, because not everyone can read the IPA markup. Mm -hmm. It's very difficult mm -hmm. for the average reader. So if we can just hear how it's pronounced by a native speaker, it will make us understand a lot better. So for example, what is Ladies Market's original name, or whatever, some Chinese name, or a Cantonese name, Mandarin name, or Cantonese, or Cantonese name. If we read the phonetic layout, it's like, okay, what is shi, what is shit, what is... So just hearing a native speaker saying it, it makes it a lot easier for the reader to understand where it's coming from and how it is. And this sound play online or we must click and then play? Generally speaking, um, you, it's in the article but you have to hit a play button. Mm -hmm. um, you saw how the play buttons are a little bit funny. On uh, we can stop and play? Yes. Okay. But how, did, how do you create that sound? Do you um, record it yourself and somehow I do, it? For the, this one, um, this is a music editing program up I have. Um, it work, it's based around MIDI. Um, I can't think what MIDI stands for off of hand, but it's basically a synthesized piano that you um, use music notation to fill in. Um, this is an approximation of tone clusters, which are used in this piece. It's a little bit simpler for other music, obviously. <laughs> No, I mean, for example, if you want to say my name, my name is Serik, for example, and you want to uh, hear oh, okay. how it sounds in Kazakh, you can't use the instrument or anything. Oh, right. I see what you mean. Uh, the easiest way, if your computer has a microphone, and most, if you can get a microphone, most computers have a microphone jack in front of them. And um, a simple program to use for recording it is called Audacity. A U. We actually have a marker, any chance? Somewhere. Type it on your computer. Oh, good idea. Oh, call the program you have it on, yeah. I don't actually have it on this computer because this computer is not very big, but um, the program is called Audacity. Uh, oh, here we are. Yes. This is a rather good program for use on this, actually. It, um, it's, free, it's free to download, it's easy to use, and... And it saves the AUG. Yes, it does save as AUG. So you could also use this if you have an MP3 file that's freely licensed. If you load up with this, you could resave it as AUG. I do think it's a huge mistake for Wikipedia that they do insist that everything is AUG, but I'm probably not going to win that one by giving a 10-minute talk. Um, that's largely improvised. <laughs> All right. Thank you. No worries. Any other questions? Okay. Thank you. May I give a suggestion? Yes. Um, I think most of the students over there, oh, yeah, take a chair. Uh, most of the students, you are not 
you don't often edit Wikipedia, do you? Yeah. Some often or sometimes or we are often. 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 Okay, yeah. because some of those questions sounded like you wanted to learn more about the editing process itself. We could have a discussion afterwards in a different location because they're working on the air questionnaire. Sorry. Okay. We are new to Wikipedia, yes. Right, so we're sorry for our No, 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 not, not sorry. Just uh, if you want something more detailed about how to actually edit, we can do something because I don't think we have anything else for this room after, do we? I mean, we can go to a different place to continue talking later, right? Yeah, oh, back there. Uh, the foundation was talking about it. The issue is the codex, so how they actually manage the sound files. They're copyrighted, and the Wikipedia, Wikimedia Foundation wants it to be truly free. And by using a copyrighted codex, it might be a copyright violation, which is why they are not allowing the common formats. So that said, it's one of those things where it actually only has to be licensed by the person wanting to um, make the program to play it. So mm -hmm. if Wikipedia paid the paid a fee to, be, to license MP3, they could use it, and any user could download and use it. With, however, yeah, that has to be worked out. Yeah. yeah. Thanks, 